some other party. Well, I wasn't raised in a political household in the sense that we talked about policy or, or political parties around the dining room table, but I was raised in a very conservative environment you know, where my parents stressed the values of hard work and individual responsibility and personal responsibility, uh, and that really flowed very naturally into a conservative political philosophy uh, where you, know, you stand for limited government and self-reliance and the free market. The uh, constituents here, if I'm elected. What do you know about South Arkansas? <laughs> I know quite a bit, and I'm learning a lot more on every trip I take. Um, you know, I know uh, that South Arkansas has a lot of uh, the economic base for this district. Um, you know, it has wide oil and oil fields, gas fields, uh, the timber basis. Um, you know, some of the sand and gravel that we have along the river. So there's a lot of extractive industries here that provide a real engine for economic growth, and they could provide an even stronger engine if we had a more favorable tax and regulatory environment. You know, also, I know that like Dardanelle, where I'm from, you know, there are a lot of small towns here uh, that have been hit very hard by the recession uh, and hit very hard by uh, flawed tax policy like the estate tax. You know, the estate tax obviously is only paid by some of the wealthiest Arkansans, but they tend to be community leaders who serve on local charities or you know, philanthropists in the area. And when they have to sell their businesses to pay those estate taxes, what happens to that local community? Well, the local community takes a hit as well. So there's been a lot of bad uh, policies that have hurt small towns in South Arkansas, just like they've hurt Dardanelle and other small towns in the River Valley. Uh, I think you should vote for me uh, because I think we need more than a conservative vote in the Congress. Uh, as you heard me say, I'm going to support lower taxes, less spending, smarter regulation. Uh, I'm pro-life. I support Second Amendment rights. Uh, but we have a lot of members in Congress who can vote the right way. What we need in Congress is someone who is going to be an able and effective advocate for free market conservative principles. And I think that my experiences demonstrate that I have the leadership to do so. I've led men in the toughest circumstances imaginable where on a minute by minute basis every decision I make could result in life or death. I also have the courage uh, that's been demonstrated in Iraq and Afghanistan to make the hard stand for the hard, for the hard right as opposed to the easy wrong. So when it comes to doing the right thing or standing by my principles or promises I make, I'm not going to succumb to the pressure that politicians all too often face when they're in Washington.